Right, folks, back in. TBS here. We've got another Super 7 Ultimates to check out. This is uh, Duke First Sergeant. This thing's pretty old. It's been out for a while, but I haven't checked them out yet, man. And I bought them, I uh, got them ways back. I think I got them on Amazon. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to check this bad boy out. Once again, you got the cool packaging, which comes with the little slip cover thing. It's all metallic, like a metallic ammo case or something. Who knows? But uh, there you go. GIW1 Duke 01 or DKE 01. So, yeah. There you go. Anyways, with the Ultimates logo on top. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dip into this figure. We'll go ahead and read up his little file or whatever, which got a little bit of a couple animated uh, pics in the back and stuff on this computer console thingy. Anyways, let's go ahead and read up, man. Let's see. Uh, Duke First Sergeant. Uh, file name Hauser Comrade S. Let's see. Primary Military Specialty Airborne Infantry Man. Secondary Military Specialty Artillery. Small Arms Armor. Uh, birthplace St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, grade E8 Master Sergeant. Duke was fluent in French, German, and English uh, when he enlisted in 1967, so he's old. Uh, graduated to the top of his class at Airborne School. Even in the 80s, would have been pretty much kind of up there, man. Uh, yeah, Fort Benning opted for U.S. Army Special Language School, specialized in Han Chinese and Southeast Asian dialect. Let's see, went uh, Special Forces in 1969, worked with tribesmen and the boonies of South Vietnam, ran four different Special Forces schools, turned down a commission in 1971, commands by winning respect, the current assignment acting for Sergeant for G.I. Joe team. Let's see, statement after declining commission. They tell me that an officer's job is to impel others to take the risks, so that the officer survives to take the blame in that in the event of total catastrophe with all due respect sir if that's what an officer does i don't want any part of it way to go dude hell yeah that's a, that's a top top standing dude right there anyways so let's go ahead and rip this guy open check him out, once man. again he comes with a bunch of stuff you got two extra head portraits you got a helmet you got a, a gun just like the classic uh, gun he would have came with actually that's a stalker gun man then you have the gun he would have seen him with, the laser rifle in the animated series. Got binoculars. He's got his backpack. And yeah, he got a uh, pointy hand, a uh, bitch slapping hand, trigger fingers, and two thumb hands. So there you go. And he's got a walkie talkie. So yeah, let's get this guy out. And here he is. We'll take a closer look at some of his accessories. They have some cool straps on his backpack, but I kind of feel like I'm scared like they would come unglued. They might, there might be a peg in there too. They might be glued and pegged, but I don't want to take any chances on that. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Reminds me of the vintage figure, pretty much. Which I got mine. Mine was a mail order, I believe. I got mine as a mail order. I didn't get him like on the card in the stores like that. Yeah, he was a mail order. My mom sent away the UPCs and and mail, you know, mailed it out. And I got a figure in the mail back in the day from Hasbro. Here's his Binox. Freaking cool. Here's Walkie Talkie. So it's 802 on there. Oh, it actually you can't see that because I'm not zooming in. But there you go. And then the cool, what I always call the, like the stalker gun or whatever, but yeah, freaking badass. And yeah, man, there's his helmet. I wish it had the little visor, man. That would be dope if it had the freaking visor. I was hoping it did, but yeah, it doesn't. Here's his, uh, just wearing a earphones, a headset to communicate. And here's his uh, yelling fit. Rawr, yo, Joe. That's freaking cool, man. I like this head sculpt. This one, probably the one I'm going to just put on him. And uh, then, yeah, just a bunch of different hands, too. So there you go. All different hands. Take a closer look at good old Duke, man. Freaking rad. His head, he can nod a bit. Twist it about. Arms go out pretty decently. Probably need to heat them up a bit. Oh, man, they're pretty tight. And he's got a bicep. He's got an elbow. Swivel with the elbow. He's got a side hinge and a swivel on his fists. He's got a little bit of an ab crunch, not much going on there. A little bit, yeah, a little bit, not much. Uh, waist twist, that's about it on that, yeah. Yeah, and then he can, oh, not do splitsies, but his legs do go out. And they, yeah, they get a little bit of a swivel so he can like sit down or whatever. Maybe do Indian, sit down Indian style. There's a little flash coming out right there for you. That's freaking cool. And then there is a boot cut, boot cut, and then a rocker pivot swivel. So there you go, the ballerina swivel. 
And yeah, holes for pegs for the on the bottom of the feet for stands. Yeah, not bad, man. Not a bad Duke. All animated style, so that's freaking cool. Bright ass colors, man. That's freaking dope. Anyways, let's get this guy accessorized. I think I have a way to get his backpack on that won't totally destroy it. So let's try this. Let's do this the right way, cause it will. It is. Oh, yeah, but I feel like that's gonna make it rip though, a bit. Man, they're stretching it at least a bit out, man. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna work. Cause we gotta get, gotta get it like yeah there, but that's not gonna work that way. But yeah, just bear with me, folks. Cause I'm trying to do this the right way. That way we don't really screw anything up. Yeah, he looks like he's pissed off at me trying to get this backpack on. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Oh, but man, let's see, we might get this. We might get this. We might. We may not. I don't know. We may have to re-glue his backpack on yeah this looks like a shit show right now i'm not gonna be honest with you i will be honest with you I said i'm not gonna be yeah that's starting to pop out a little bit that sucks oof but if you got glue i don't know yeah we got it on damn i might not ever take this off it might just stay on him forever jesus all right but yeah we got it on him so it's safe and sound didn't rip it off or apart but yeah you want to be careful i don't think you really need to heat up these straps because they're already pretty gummy to be honest with you and I just broke that peg, man. Jeez. Wow, that sucks, man. That's going to be a pain in the ass and not be able to really go any further with this unless we really manage to dig that peg out. That sucks. All right, y'all. We got that peg out. We were actually able to do that. Yeah, because I broke it. So, yeah, that's that's on me. But, well, whatever. I don't know. <sighs> yeah. It sucks because I'm like an affiliate now or whatever that means or whatever. But, yeah, I totally broke this hand. But I think there might be a way to soften that up and be able to replace that man there's always a way there's always a way i say there's always a way to fi to fix stuff or whatever but um we're gonna go ahead and give him this other hand and yeah not snap it off but yeah we're almost we're almost there oh, here we have uh have him in a battle pose like uh, i guess like just commanding everybody man he's bitching commanding pissed off um yeah he's probably more mad at me because i broke his hand or whatever but we got other hands and we'd probably be able to replace other hands with other joes that i got because i know i have another one we're going to check out but don't let this deter you from super seven stuff because rudy at customer service man if you get stuff from them it should be able to handle it pretty well i don't know about like if you got something at walmart or if you got something at um or at amazon if they're able to replace that i don't know that 100 percent. i'll have to holler at them and see what's up I gotta replace my Mongor because I, I I break stuff. It's my fault. But anyways, but either way, that's what happens in the toy game. Not everything is super durable. It happens, but don't let that deter you, man. Still check out the link in the description for more cool Super Seven stuff because I know I do when I can because it's always fun to collect. But uh, yeah, man, it's still a cool, Duke, man. I like him. I like him, man. I want to get more of these, but yeah, I've, I've only got a few so far. I don't have a Snake Eyes. I would like to get that one wave that has the Doc and. Um, I guess Scarlet and Storm Shadow, because that wave looks pretty dope. But these are cool, man. I also like collecting the, the Hasbro Classified stuff, too. But these, man, these are cool, man. They, they you know, take it back to the old nostalgia lane with uh, with the good old cartoon and stuff. The Deke cartoon. It's freaking rad, man. I like this figure. He's dope, man. Anyways, we'll get uh, one more different uh, head portrait on him, and uh, maybe another hand swap, and, uh, yeah, be done with this. We have him communicating with his walkie-talkie. Maybe communicating over some like reconnaissance or something like that. Who knows? Some some kind of battle plan, some battle orders or something, man. Something something's going down, man. Something, man. Maybe getting some intel from Scarlet. Who knows? But definitely not Snake Eyes because Snake Eyes can't talk. Last time I checked. But anyways, yeah, that's sort of look at a good old. I was gonna say Hawk Duke. <laughs> oh man, General Hawk, man. Oh, Duke for Sergeant, man. Good old Duke, man. Anyways, um. Yeah, another thing too, like what I want to explain, if you break something and you got a peg in there, best thing to do is to heat it up with a hair dryer, heat the said hole with the hair dryer, get like a really sharp knife or something. This doesn't work because this thing's ripped open a lot of packages, but what you do is you get like a little pointy knife. Be careful because you don't want to cut yourself, but like if you get it hot enough, you should be able to dig around, get that peg snug and just pop it right out, man. And that's basically what I did with this figure. Just to get it, just to save it, man. Just to just to let this review not go to total crap. But got to be honest with you, man, because I do I do break things, man. It happens, man. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens every once in a while. I've broken a couple ultimates, man, and there are a few now by now. But like I said, they've got good customer service. Get a hold of Rudy, man. 
just give them your order number. If not, whatever. But I'll find out some more info as I keep doing more Super 7 stuff. Because I've been doing Super 7 videos for years. But now this is a different thing. But yeah. Anyways, because it's more Ultimates that I've been checking out than Reaction Figures lately. So anyways, this is episode 18, I believe, of, uh, of opening, of uh, unboxing Reaction Figures. Or opening, opening Ultimates, as we should say. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching all. And have a good one. Alright, later.